two of the, two of the biggest things I've heard of a lot of this, this year's Web Summit have been um, artificial intelligence and virtual reality. Uh, I, I hear a lot more about machine learning, um, new products being announced. It seems like this thing has been something we've talked about to suddenly it's happening now and, and Accenture in Dublin you guys have announced a new lab for uh, artificial intelligence focus in, in Ireland. Can you tell us a bit about what artificial intelligence first of all means to you and, and where we're going with this technologically and how it's going to impact our, our normal lives? Yeah, now we see uh, artificial intelligence, the way we think about it is it's, uh, it's really a set of technologies and a family of technologies that can create capabilities to sense, comprehend, and then take action on a variety of inputs and, and stimulus. And it's really mul multiple technologies, deep learning, machine learning, uh, semantic ontology, expert systems, uh, vi uh, video analytics, et cetera, a lot of different technologies coming together that enable us to create these new capabilities, either for consumers to change the way they, they, they live or, or for employees to change the way that their jobs work and change the way, the way that they work in organizations. So that's what gets us excited about artificial intelligence. We do believe that uh, we're in this, this era of exponentialism with changes in technology that are creating the breakthroughs with new technology that's you know, been the promise of AI for, you know, for 30 years. We believe we're at a point where the, we're poised to see the real breakthrough business impact of, uh, of artificial intelligence technologies. And specifically the, the lab in Dublin, I think it's more a case it's a, it's a blank page and it's, it's more a case to see where it goes. Uh, can you tell us about what your ambitions are for it, at least in terms of like, uh, would you like to see the team grow? Would it be a case of uh, it's uh, drawing on other things that are happening in Dublin in terms of big data and analytics? Yeah, uh, you know, it's, it is a blank page, but we have uh, very high ambitions and expectations for what we're going to do here in Dublin. The, um, we've announced previously the, the Set Accenture Center for Innovation, which is a, a 200, uh, approximately 200 person, 25 million euro investment in innovation in Dublin. And what we announced today was specifically creating, uh, as part of that, a new te Accenture Technology Labs location in Dublin focused on artificial intelligence. And uh, what we expect to do here is tap into what we see as a lot of innovation and you know, talent happening both in the commercial sector and in the, the education and research sectors with artificial intelligence. And what we what we'll look to this team to do is look out and understand all the advances with artificial intelligence, understand how to apply it to solve specific industry and business problems, and also apply it to our own business. We see tremendous opportunity to improve the way Accenture works, and we're already applying artificial intelligence to help us build systems uh, faster, to help us uh, solve problems faster for clients, and we expect the team here to tap into a new set of innovations and really help us accelerate that. And when we hear about artificial intelligence, I mean, most of us have been growing up on sci-fi all our lives. We think of robots taking our jobs, uh, all these kind of things. Um, what does the future of artificial intelligence look like in terms of humanity, how we're going to use it? Uh, I, I, I've met a lot of companies this week where they're even making chips that will help computers see and be cognitive. Um, if you were to kind of forecast the impact that artificial intelligence will make in our lives, in our working lives, in our personal lives. Yeah, I think we have a, a bit of a different perspective on artificial intelligence than, than some have. And uh, what I talked about in, in my talk today was, uh, was the concept of making humans super rather than making superhumans. We believe that the real power of artificial intelligence is to augment uh, the, the, the what humans are great at and create you know and make them better at what they do so making humans super and the we don't believe that you know that we're going to create a, a superhuman that's going to replace or an uberhuman that's going to replace uh, what people do it's all about making humans you know more effective and we've seen great potential for that with workers with augmented technolo technology in the, in the form of uh, uh, virtual reality types of technology augmented vision combined with machine learning to help uh, lower skilled workers do very advanced jobs more productively so it creates additional opportunities for people and that's what, why we're excited about artificial intelligence and this people-first approach uh, that we have, uh, which is a little different than the perspective many take, and that'll be the, the focus that we take here in our Dublin lab. I'm just looking forward to a day where I get computers to do my writing for me and so that. But in terms of the um, industrial applications, you know, um, you know, the the kind of things that maybe uh, we can do in terms of uh, productivity, um, you know, more advanced manufacturing, all those kind of things. Yeah. What kind of industrial applications do you see for uh, artificial intelligence? Well, the example I just taught, it's a great question. We see we see opportunities really across the spectrum, you know, tremendous opportunities in, in healthcare. We're doing work right now with drug manufacturers in terms of uh, uh, you know, looking at clinical trial analysis and drawing conclusions much more quickly in, in minutes rather than hours and days that it used to take them in, in that industry, in healthcare for diagnosis, in manufacturing, it was the example I talked about a minute ago, and helping workers do higher skilled uh, jobs in a, you know, in a manufacturing process. 
Uh, we're seeing it in, uh, you know, combined with drone technology and other, you know, Internet of Things, industrial Internet types of technologies. So you can do things like fault detection and prediction more effectively using uh, the, that kind of input. So it's really you know, an opportunity across the board that, that we see you know, with, uh, with the technology. I'd be thinking a lot about the entrepreneurial aspects as well. I noticed there just week Google announced a, a product, a component of Gmail that would help you it would predict kind of responses you can give and give you three options to reply quicker to an email, for example. Uh, how do you think entrepreneurs will make use of artificial intelligence to uh, maybe come up with really good products that will, you know, make life less, uh, take all the frictions out of life for us? Yeah, no, that's a, another huge idea. We talk a lot about the workers and changing things to the workers. I think there's tremendous opportunity for consumers to do exactly what you said, which is create you know, create experiences that are more effective for consumers and create ways for us to you know to do more and create more free time, things like that. I think there's tremendous potential. And we have a, a part of Accenture called uh, uh, Accenture Interactive and a, cap uh, a group called Fjord, which focuses on this idea of consumer experience. And we think that that type of capability of envisioning new ways that the consumers and people experience uh, technology and, and uh, live their lives combined with the power of the technology is what's going to create the breakthrough opportunities. So I think it's an exciting time to be an entrepreneur around the technology because the availability of this technology in the cloud, in a digital form, means that it's accessible to entrepreneurs to try out new ideas, and I think we'll see a great amount of experimentation. You can see it at Web Summit when you walk the startup exhibits here. It's really exciting. You see a number of you know of companies trying different things, and we'll just see more of that as the technology evolves. Well, thank you very much. That's great.